Welcome to this martial arts website roast. I'm going to be pulling apart a martial arts school owner's website with their consent, of course, and seeing if we can identify some improvements. So, Damien Harfield, appreciate the honesty. Now, I know that Damo is absolutely crushing it with his schools at the moment, so even if he makes no changes to the website, I'm certain he's going to continue doing really well. But it's a potential opportunity for improvement and an opportunity for us all to learn. Now, it might sound a little bit obvious, but a martial arts school website should be a tool which brings the right kind of person closer to you and your martial arts school, running in the background 24-7 automatically uh, with minimal input from you once it's all set up. Now, it can have other functions too. If you've got, say, a shop where you sell your merchandise or if you have a student portal because you've got video training that's student access only, that's cool and everything. But for me, a martial arts website should function to bring in new people, new prospective students, that right kind of person. They're ready to train and they know what they're, they know what they're in for. So thinking about the type of people that we're going to be appealing to, the simplest type of person to appeal to is going to be someone who already knows what they're looking for. They're already searching for martial arts, or maybe even your specific style of martial arts. Brilliant. And you just need to be able to get your school information in front of their eyes and grab them by the heart and give them the next step they need to take. So your website needs to be capable of being found as far as search engine, Google, being Yahoo, Ask Jeeves, and then quickly tell the visitor they're in the right place, that they like what you have to say and what you have to show them, that they can trust your site and by extension you and your school, that they know what the next step is they need to take, and that it's easy for them to take it. So this is the old know, like and trust marketing triad before anybody is even capable of buying from you or doing anything with you. I mean, after know, like and trust, there's try, buy, repeat and refer, but we won't get onto that today. Anyway, all that said, Let's jump onto Demo's website. Okay, cool. Here we go. We're in an incognito window and we're going to jump onto Demo's website for the first time. Paste in his URL there. Let's see. Cool. Well, that looked to load pretty quickly, but I've got a fairly decent internet connection here. So the first thing we're going to check is about the um, speed of the site. And we're going to use that using these Chrome developer tools up here. Here are the three dots, more tools, develop tools or hit the shortcut control shift I and we're going to go the two arrows and we're going to go to lighthouse down here so we've chosen lighthouse and this is um, Google's way of measuring and quantifying how technically good your website is so we're going to analyze the page load and hit that let it do its thing and then the point of having a fast website or at least the first time someone hits the website loading quickly is that attention spans are so short right now. If something doesn't load and you can't see that it's for you within the first three to five seconds, then people tend to bounce. So if you have a website which is absolutely beautiful and the words on there are really compelling and it's a brilliant offer that no one can refuse, but it loads really slowly, then um, any traffic you send to the website is just not going to convert into new prospects just because of patience. <laughs> Uh, it's just the way that things are right now. So Lighthouse is almost done. Thank you for staying patient with me. So it gives you a performance summary up here. And this is generally loaded for mobile because that's where the majority of traffic usually comes from. But of course, check on your um, analytics. Okay, let's take a step back. Get analytics installed on your website. Google Analytics is the one I use and check um, what devices, mobile or desktop or tablet, the majority of your users are using and try and optimize your website around that most common one. Mobile is just getting more and more frequent. So for me, it's usually going to be mobile. Uh, right. So first content pane. So that is how long it takes before the first bit of information is shown on the screen. That's like this section here. It's 3.4 seconds. It's giving you red, so it could be quicker. <laughs> and then largest contentful paint. That's like when the whole page is loaded and it's kind of ready to be used and you can scroll all the way down. Total blocking time, 18 seconds. That's pretty high. Speed index, 18.9 seconds. That's not great. Could do with a little improvement. The other elements here, cumulative layout shift. Now that is a measure of if you're loading a website and you see the thing you want to click on, and then as the website loads, 
the thing moves and so you accidentally click on something else. That's incredibly annoying as a user. And that's what this cumulative layout shift is measuring. So layout shift being the buttons move around as they're loading. And this is a very low score here of layout shift. So that's really good. Nice one, demo. And if you scroll down this report, it will give you suggestions on how to speed up the website. Uh, so these drop downs here will give you more information such as minimize main thread work, reduce the impact of third party code, third party code blocking. So what is that? That is to do with Wix. And whether all of these can be fixed or not kind of depends on the setup of your website. If it's something where Wix has to load its code, Wix being the website supplier or hosting service has to load its code. And that just takes five seconds for every single Wix website then maybe you're stuck with it or maybe you change providers uh, reduce javascript execution time so again that's about like how efficient the code is that's on there and some of this might be super in depth so let's have a look at these past audits here the more common things and the things that are a lot um, simpler for us as non-technical website people to fix is about image sizes uh, if you have a lot of really high resolution images that look absolutely beautiful, but they're like five megabytes each, then they will take a long time to load. So you might get uh, properly size images and serve images in next gen formats. But you see, these are all green. So Damon's already sorted that properly size all the images. Yeah, that's all sorted. Nicely done. Um, it'll give you other scores here about accessibility. That's how obvious the buttons and stuff are and best practices about a bunch of developer stuff that I don't want to go into right now. Um, SEO scores, search engine optimization. So that's about things where your headlines are obvious and they're things that search engines can, can pick up on and list your website properly. So this all seems to be pretty good as well. Good job, demo, nicely done. Uh, so the, the biggest opportunity seems to be in the blocking time here and main thread work, which, uh, script evaluation that all seems to be about wix itself as a hosting service so that may be something you're a bit stuck with demo oh. or um if you change providers if you can be bothered and it's worth going through this exercise on all of the main pages where people land so they might land on your home page here or if you've got different other pages like prices contact about shop podcast as ah, so a shop and podcast they're not necessarily to do with New prospects, although having a podcast might warm people up to like you a bit more before they come along and try, so that jury's out on whether that's a, um, a good thing or a confusing thing to have more options, because a confused mind doesn't take any action. It's like, do I want to listen to the podcast, or do I want to show up at a class, or do I want to get in touch, do I want to phone him? Okay, next thing we're going to look at is the actual content of the website itself from the homepage onwards. Uh, so we've got this cookie bar down here, that's fine, we need to need to have those if you have cookies. The alternative is to not have cookies. That might even speed up the site a little bit more. Um, I really like this call out headline here because it, it tells the visitor exactly what it is. Martial arts, lovely. Exactly who it's for, children, adults, and families. Brilliant. And in exactly what location, Newbury, Thatcham, Basingstoke, and Cone. So if I'm not looking for martial arts, I go bounce. That's great. If I'm not interested in these groups of training for martial arts, I'm going to bounce as well. If I'm not in these locations or able to get to these locations, I'm going to bounce too. And that's brilliant because it draws the right people towards you and pushes the wrong people away. And that just means that nobody's time is wasted. Um, menu along the top here, home, prices, contact, about, yeah, cool. So they can all be related to a new prospect shop and podcast so this is starting to give a new prospect different options which are not related to come along and try a lesson now i don't know whether Damon has a, um, a free trial set up or a kind of paid introduction course or a blend of those yet but the same principles apply if you have uh, a few but obvious actions for the person to take the right person to take in the right order that, that's quite helpful now we've got a nice repetition of the locations here, which is lovely. Um, but then for me, oh, this header bar is quite big. See, this header bar takes up a lot of real estate on the page. That's maybe a quarter of the kind of scrollable area. 
We'll have a look how that looks on mobile in a few minutes. But maybe this could be smaller and so the rest of it could be seen more easily. This is like straight into what it is. So these are all the features, uh, timetable, location, class type, age type. Okay, that's, that's helpful for the person who already knows what they want, but maybe I'd be looking to have a little bit more enticing uh, words or a picture or a combination of those that's gonna draw people in that speaks to the problem that somebody has. So if you're, and the problem could be as simple as, um, are you looking for martial arts training for children, adults, and families in these locations? Well, fantastic. That is what we specialize in. Um, let's do something. Because that's like a lot of text all in one block that people are either gonna skim over or not read at all. Okay, so the first action that I'm being asked to take is this button, call us. Okay, why? Doesn't tell me why. Doesn't tell me what I'll get if I call you. Am I calling a robot? Am I leaving a message? Am I gonna to speak to a human? Are you gonna be asking me questions I can't answer? Don't know. And a button like this works great on mobile, um, but on a desktop, it's probably gonna try and open Skype or something like that. Um, so yeah, we'll see. This action here, recycle uniform, that's, that's not relevant to a new prospect, I presume. Um, it might be more relevant to an existing student this is something, hmm, I don't know, it shows maybe an environmental consciousness and that might help people like what you're about. So that, yeah, I'm talking about whether that should be there. Uh, maybe this is something that we say, and but a bit lower down, and by the way, we have a uniform recycling program because it's good for the environment. Because that's just the kind of people we are. Because that's that would draw that part out without having a new prospect think, oh, do I click on that? Is that for me? Don't know. Uh, right. Website copy here. Again, it's like a block of text. So this block of text here, it talks all about the school and the school's program and we and why have we done this? We have backgrounds and it's um, it's a bit self-centered. So for a, a new prospect, a new visitor, they might read that and go, well, why do I care? It doesn't tell me why I should care yet. What's in it for me? That's the that's the question. So if I'm a new uh, a new prospect, I'm considering which martial arts uh, school to sign up to, or even whether I should train martial arts, or whether I should go to the gym. Um, I need to know what's in it for me. So it's blended into a freestyle curriculum. Okay, why have we done this? Backgrounds drawn upon our decades to do this. So it still doesn't really tell me why you've done it. Uh, what, why is this actually good for the student? We say um, all of our students learn faster or get a more complete um, education in the martial arts or have more fun. It needs to be worded from the perspective of the prospect. So it's going to be have more fun, get fit, learn all the skills all in one place because we've taken elements of martial arts such as striking, grappling, throwing forms and blended them into a single freestyle martial arts curriculum. Okay, cool, that's the thing. But then what's the actual benefit? And therefore it means it's easier to learn. Nobody gets confused. Um, no one gets overwhelmed. Everything's in the right order. We're going to find those benefits and how it relates to the prospect. Okay, next we've got these sections, are these clickable? Oh, uh, they're not clickable. I'd like these to be clickable and tell me a bit more about which each thing is. I'll click on those. Aha, oh no, this is great. Here, join martial arts today. Give, give your child a gift, discipline, confidence, and physical fitness. Whew. Okay, something like that should be right at the top here. Like, I don't care about your logo, it's already there. Put that somewhere else. Um, where are we? here. This is great. This is what I want to see straight away when I land above the fold. The first thing I see. Experience instructors, good. So that's increasing trust. Guide them. Yes, your your child. Guide them. Cool. Self-discovery, personal growth, help them to develop important life skills. It's focused with self-defense. Don't wait. Sign up for our classes now. Watch as your child transforms stronger, more confident individual. Great. 
transformation, lovely. So stick that right at the top where it's the first thing that everybody sees when they land on the homepage. And um, sign up for our classes now. That's a bit ambiguous. Is it quite a big commitment? Am I paying now? Or am I expressing interest? Am I getting someone to phone me back or send me a message? Sign up for our classes is quite a big commitment. So that might be putting off people who are the right people, but they're just not quite ready to dive in with their credit cards out. They want someone to talk to or someone to email them back. Uh, this form here, I can't see the writing. <laughs> uh, I see. Book a free class with us now. Right, so that is the offer, a free class. Excellent, excellent. Put that at the top as well. Did you see how difficult it was for me to find? Book a free class with us now. Full name, email, mobile, closest venue is, pick one of the venues, lovely, I'm interested in. Oh, what am I interested in? I don't know. Where did you hear about us? Select one of those, okay. To increase the number of people who fill in these forms we need to try and minimize the amount of typing they have to do so clicking clicking's okay so closest venue drop down menu that's okay where did you hear about us it could maybe lose that but it's pretty simple two clicks to go um name obviously you need the name email address do you need their email address on the first contact or are you gonna phone them i probably want phone number personally um Email address is helpful. So maybe name, email address, and phone. And like this other stuff, you could probably collect that later. So I think you get more people filling in this contact form if you only have the three fields. You know, full name, email address, mobile, and ah, submit. I hate that text, submit. You want to submit. I've been trying to make buttons which um, put the action in the first person. So if we have a book, a free class with us now, uh, again, this is like self-centered demo. I know you're great and everything, but this is a bit self-centered for me. Um, book your free class now, or book your child's free class, book a free class now, get rid of that with us. And then instead of submit, I put something like, um, yes, I'm interested in a free class. Is that lowers the barrier to entry? I'm interested in a free class. Yes. So you get their contact details and then you email them back or phone them back. We have an automated email response that says, great, that's awesome. Really pleased you're interested. Where's your closest venue, Newbury? Wonderful. Oh, by the way, where did you hear about us? Wonderful. And you can collect this information later. It's helpful to have, but it's not necessarily essential. Um, but yeah, I take this whole section and shove it right at the top here. <laughs> you can still have this information about your um, timetable and locations and stuff on the front on the home page that's great but it's a really good practice to have a a free offer above the fold so someone as soon as someone lands on the page they can see exactly what it is ah martial arts for children adults families and you breathe that from these and so calm good that is for me great do i trust What's going on here? Wow, well, we've got British Martial Arts and Boxing Association crest. Uh, we've got a uh, logo. Uh, we've got the um, secure information there because it's an HTTPS website. That's helpful. Um, I can bounce. I can see there's other pages and stuff. We can talk a bit more about um, trust later. We can have other trust signals going on. But then the free offer at the front. Why is the next step for me to take? We want it to be... Where's it gone? Awesome. Book a free class now. Name, email, mobile. And the button says, yes, I'm interested in the free class. And that will capture a lot of those uh, fast action people who already know what they want. Then we can have our benefit and transformation driven copy. This is good. Like it. Up near the top. Uh, and then have the other information that's on the homepage here. Okay, where do we get to? What's there? What else is down here? Values. Oh, excellent. Right, that needs to be higher up as well. <laughs> Brilliant. So I can see that you're an actual human being. You know how to talk to people. This is your values. You've even bothered recording me a video. So this is directly for me because I'm a new prospect. Brilliant. Let's take that higher up on the page too, please. 
30% off your new uniform when you recycle the old one. Cool. These are more trust signals here. So, so this is this is the right kind of person for me because you're into recycling and care for the environment, and so on. And this is actually quite smart because it starts to plant the idea that you'll have multiple uniforms, and so you'll be training at Real Aquifer for a long time. That's really cool. But I'd have it lower down on the page. It's not super essential to be higher up. So probably where it is now, what we about three quarters of the way down. I think it's pretty good. Member zone, enter, lovely. So as a new prospect, I know that there's a member zone. There's more for me to unlock. I get a little bit of FOMO or uh, pain of having missed out already because I'm, I'm not part of this club yet. So I can see that there's a there's a club, there's substantial work behind this member zone, or at least I assume there is. And then more trust signals at the bottom. Lovely. What are these down here? Child protection in sport. Cool, those are nice. Maybe potentially make those a bit bigger. Right, let's see what this looks like in mobile. So we could do that using developer tools as well. Tools, responsive. Let's look in the iPhone 12 Pro. Look up to the top. To reload. Let's reload. There we go. So we can get this preview on mobile. And um, yeah, that header there does take up quite a bit of space and it? it's the first half almost half of the of the first view and then we're straight into this timetable and location stuff does that do? phone email facebook okay and then that up there member login home prices contact all that stuff cool so i've got like two menus i can share this on facebook i ditched that does anybody ever share it Check on your stats and see if anyone shares it. And if they don't, just get rid of it. It's another confusing thing that new prospects don't need to see or do. Okay, how long is it till I get to you? Oh, that is a lot of text happening there. Um, it's about the curriculum. I can, that's like too much information too soon. And then almost completely down at the bottom of the page. Look how far we are down on the scroll. Four fifths of the way down, 80% of the way down the page. And you get give your child the gift of discipline and confidence and physical fitness that's powerful and needs to go higher up and and then watch as your child transforms into a stronger more confident individual yes and then according to this on mobile look what happens to the sign up form book a free class with us now it's gone into this weird little scroll box thing um sometimes the chrome developer tools don't quite get it right and sometimes they're spot on so i checked out on a real mobile and see if that is really happening because that's that's a problem you need to fix that to a much nicer sign up form so as my recommendations for the home page in terms of layout and copy and stuff i'm going to take these huge benefits and uh, so the benefits here are give your child the gift of discipline confidence physical fitness and give your child that's quite appealing to uh, a parent's sense of, of protection and care and ownership and that that's that's great it's really well positioned and then the transformation for the child themselves brilliant really love it and now what i don't know is it's right at the top martial arts for children adults and families so what proportion are you targeting so if it's mainly for children then great i'd have that kind of child-centered um, benefit and transformation based copy up here straight away with the um grab your free book a free class now grab your free class now claim your free class now um sign up form that doesn't go wrong <laughs> on a mobile i have that all above the fold up here um but if you're also targeting adults and families maybe have specific pages that replicate replicate the effect that this copy has but for adults and for families so it will be a different, or maybe it would be the same. I don't know. Maybe it would be a different transformation or at least a different um, subject to the transformation, whether it's adults. You could be more confident at work and in social situations, or um, they might be more interested in, in the physical improvements in their body they're going to see. And if it's for families, maybe they're looking for a family activity that can draw them all together and so they can have a stronger bond as a family. And that could be the the uh, benefit and the transformation there. 
Some of crypto, guess some of these are the pages. Prices. So I opened it in a new tab, wasn't expecting that. First you pick a joining package. Okay. Then you pick a monthly training package. Okay. And then there's ladies only and adults only stuff. Right. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of information on here for me to absorb, especially as a new prospect who doesn't yet know what they want. I completely understand about having your prices transparent and available on the website because that will allow people to self-select. So if they go, yeah, that seems reasonable. Or if they go, whoa, that's where my price range, then it doesn't waste anybody's time for them showing up and having a free class. And then you say at the end, well, our prices are this. And they go, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I literally can't afford it. So it can help um, qualify your prospects really well. But like, this is a lot of information to take in. So maybe before this section here, just needs a little part above it, introducing it. Um, oh, <laughs> hang on, where's the video gone? On mobile, the video's disappeared. On the front, on the home page. Tell me, I really like that video, Damon. Right, check on a real mobile, not the fake Chrome Dev Tools version. Yeah, that might be a setting in Wix where it only shows on desktop or something, but that video is really good. Because you covered a lot of video, obviously, and a charismatic person who knows what they're talking about, maybe a very short video up here at the top could be helpful. And say, um, if you're looking at your that's absolutely awesome. We do actually have quite a few different packages and prices available. Uh, don't worry if this information seems um, overwhelming. It's to give you an idea of what we of what we offer and the value we provide. And when you show up for your free class, the instructor will walk you through exactly what the right package is going to be for you. So that gives somebody a bit of reassurance rather than um, making them feel overwhelmed by, oh God, do I have to pick this already before I even show up? The purpose, I think, is to pre-qualify prospects, and that's a great idea, but it may have the counter effect of putting people off by making them use too many mental calories and working out, oh, it's an image, I can't even select it. Okay, uh, making someone use too many mental calories and go, these are too many numbers, I can't, I can't work out what I need to do here. So a little reassurance at the top, I think, would go quite a long way of making sure this page doesn't put people off, it doesn't raise objections. Next, contact. Ah. So when I click contact, it takes me back to the home page, down to the form. Okay. About. That takes me to the home page. More about our values. Values page. Oh, that wasn't available on the menu. Okay. Cool. That's okay, that's that's cool that you have these on here. And just question what it's adding to the journey of a prospect when when they're browsing your website versus deciding to come up, uh, sign up and come along. I mean, it's cool, but it might be that less is more here. Right, that's apparent. Shop. Let's see. Uh, this kind of looks unfinished. <laughs> Example collection title. Okay, catalog. Open to pack. Okay. Um, for me, this shop is only really going to be relevant for um, existing students. So if there's a way of taking that off the main menu or making it so prospects and, you know, visitors to the website can't just disappear because I've, yeah, completely bounced from your main website. Now, um, even if I click back on your, uh, logo here, it's going to take me to the shop homepage, not to your martial arts school home. Oh, that one will. Okay, yeah, I think this is adding to confusion, this shop thing. So I ditched that. Podcast. Is the podcast going to be... Okay, so it opens in a new... Opens Spotify in a new window. That's good. Is the podcast aimed at prospects or prospect parents? Or who's that relevant to? Is it relevant to that prospect journey? Hmm. Just some things to think about there. Right, back on the homepage. Yeah, so my main suggestions to the homepage are see if you can make this header bar uh, not as long. <laughs> Ditch the shop and podcast, I think, personally. 
get rid of the Facebook share. No one does that or cares about that. Um, do you want people to call you? I don't think so. You probably want to have this section right up at the top. So it's above the fold. It's the first thing that people see when they land. Um, maybe even much more snappy. So give your child the gift of discipline, confidence, and physical fitness. Sign up. Sign up for our classes now. Get a free class now and watch as your child transforms into a stronger, more confident individual. And then have this form much bigger and easier to navigate and not disappear on mobile. <laughs> Go to those last three fields. So it's just full name, email and mobile. And change the button, submit. I hate submit. I don't want to submit to anyone. No, I don't. I want, yes, tell me more about how I can get my free class. Or yes, claim my free class now. Or yes, book my free class now. Something along those lines. There. Okay, man. Good job all around and keep doing what you're doing. You don't have to change any of this because you're already crushing it, mate. Again, thanks for the bravery and thanks for sticking us with sticking with us to the end of this lengthy rambling video. So let me know in the comments down below. Was that helpful? I hope so. See ya.